Lagos Labour Party Chairperson Dayo Ekong says the party will not rest until it gets justice for disenfranchised supporters. Speaking to correspondents after the party was declared winner of Lagos, Ekong said its supporters were bullied, attacked and disenfranchised in different areas. She added that Nigerian, Nigerians have a right for their votes to count. In the 25th February election at a Jeremy Ifelodun local government area, the candidate of the Labour Party for the House of Representatives in the area, Emilia Uzede, has expressed dissatisfaction with the process of the election. In a press briefing, she alleged that the election was flawed, citing overvoting and rigging by the INEC officials. The people trooped to vote on Saturday and expect their will to reflect in the results of the ballot, lo and behold, the enemy of our democracy, who have sold their conscience to the devil, perfected their act of rigging. There is clear evidence that there is sabotage of the electoral process to give room to chaotic, fraudulent, coalition with our Electoral Act 2023. Dr. Ozeda also adds that the youths are tired of the shenanigans of the ruling party. She appealed to them to be law and abiding. Doctoring and engineering to arrive at a predetermined result instead of the original result from the polling units. Figure manipulation is too obvious to ignore. Coalition officers arrogate the power to allocate, inflate, deflate, and the, you know, the vote cast at the polling unit against the clear provisions of our electoral law. This criminal, criminally cannot, this criminality cannot be allowed to stand. This shenanigans was prominent in a Jeremy Felodu federal constituency election. Electoral kidnapping and Yahoo Yahoo results shall not be encouraged. At, all. at the doctor's figure, and all the doctor's figure shall be contested, and the original result shall be defended in the interest of justice. We appeal to citizens of Ajegu, Ajeromi Falodu Federal Constituency to remain calm and law abiding. The INEC people can join our officers to sign if they say they will remove like 500 votes from that of APC. You cannot remove 500 votes arbitrarily. How did they get 2,000 excess votes? And you now remove 500 arbitrarily. One of the pooling unit agents that refused to record for Labour Party in his own pooling unit. He refused to come. He came there and passed for Pascal. Is it passed for past six? In the evening. That was an election that was done on Saturday. There was a pooling unit where we noticed it was, um, there was over voting. We spoke to the rec and he said it's not in our place to defend it or, or counter it. It's there for INEC to notice it, and then if they want to take any action, they should. Why shouldn't they correct it at that level, since it's, it's happening within the same environment, rather than leaving it and adding to the results? I wanted to make a video. One of them promised, said he was going to hit me, one of the coalition officers. And the people around me raised fracas and asked him, why do you think you, you will intimidate her and tell her you want to slap her if she makes a video? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.